You're going to love this. Trust me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Josh from Dragon Ball Junkies on YouTube. Welcome to the channel. Today we're playing a Dragon Ball Super Tournament. This is round two. Dragon Ball Super Online Regional Tournament. Round two just was posted, but it's not showing for me for some reason. What the heck? Pairings, round one. Round two, Next round is not ready yet. What the heck? Pairings. Round two. We up, we up, we up. Let's go find this room. Let's search here for Josh. Josh Smith. Grady Hughes. Table 49. Grady Hughes. I'm coming for you. Table 49. Where you at? All right, guys. I'm switching over to voiceover Josh. And I'm going to talk you through this tournament. I've got it playing at four times speed. So I cut the audio. And I'm just going to voiceover. So we rolled our dice. Uh, my opponent rolled 11. I rolled a 10. He's playing Jiren, yellow Jiren. It's basically uh, kind of like Mecha Frieza. It's all the yellow good stuff, the, the Bergamo, the Basil. I think he's got the U9 Assemble, I think. But he's also got U11 stuff for his leader because his leader lets him not take damage on his Awakened side as long as he has a U9 on board. So he plays out the Kunchi, which gives anything 2 or less U11 barrier. That's a great first play for him because he'll be able to keep a bunch of little U11 guys on the board with Barrier, letting his leader not take damage. So I start off, uh, what is that, Unstoppable Invasion. I play out the field card for one on my turn one. Now we're going to his turn two. I gave my leader double strike. I swung. He took the double strike. On his turn two, he's going to play out another U11. I think that's a Casserole. And he's going to play out another Kunchi from, I believe, his leader ability. When he swung, he played out that Kunchi. So now he's got two Kunchis and a Casserole. All of those cards have Barrier. So he's got his U11 wall built up, which will protect him. So we're going into my turn. I tap two. I play my Unison, um, King Vegeta, Umbral Invader. or and then I plus one to my unison to play out Anticipated Onslaught. I use Anticipated Onslaught to draw, take life from my leader, draw a card, play out a Berry Blue, one drop, search the top seven. I get another Anticipated Onslaught to my hand. <clears throat> and I awaken. I untap two. I tap one. I play Terrified Resolution. Get another draw off my leader on the awaken side. Now I'm swinging with my unison. That's a 15k swing. I'm swinging at his leader because I have nothing else to swing at. Basically, for three turns, he can keep his leader from taking damage by taking one life. Um, so he awakens at four. He just played a Bergamo. <clears throat> it's the one drop Bergamo. And... I do not have a Frieza Charismatic. We talk about this at the end of the game. He says, uh, did you not see your, your five-drop Frieza counterplay early? And I tell him, no, I, I did not have it in my hand. Otherwise, I would have played it right now to kill that Bergamo. Um, I, I believe on this turn or the following turn, he plays two Raiders War Cries. I would have used it for those. Um, there are multiple things that if I saw, I need to see Frieza Charismatic Villain early to stop all these plays. Now he plays out a Basil. So now he has a Basil and a Bergamo on board. Uh, if I have five energy tap, that Basil becomes like a 19k dual attacker. And it's like a one, I think it's a one drop. Uh, and he swung with both of those. I think I'm down to four life here. It's my turn. I drew my card. I charged energy. I think that's a cooler counterplay that I... That I charged. He asked me if I wanted to counterplay uh, when he played the Brazel and the Bergamo. Uh, I had a cooler in my hand and I had one energy open, but he tapped that one energy, stopping me from counterplaying them. And I had no Freezer Charismatic. So <clears throat> I swing my leader. I pop my Unstoppable Invasion to give my leader 10k extra. And then I play another Berry Blue for one. 
And that also, uh, when I popped that Unstoppable Invasion, it also let me KO a two or less with Anticipated Onslaught. So I KO'd his Basil. And I'm going to tap one again. Play out the Unstoppable Invasion from the drop with Barry Blue's Activate Main Ability. Giving my leader double strike. I've already swung, so pretty much I'm just doing that to get a draw off my leader. I was just showing him how many cards I had in my hand. Okay, I guess I passed my turn. He swung. I reacted instantly with a negate, the King Cold negate, that makes it so every time he swings at my leader card, he has to discard a card. It's kind of like a floodgate. It's kind of like a mini topo, like a floodgate negate. Right now, he's just explaining to me what everything does. I kind of I kind of knew what everything did. I forgot why I asked him. I think I might have just asked him their attack powers or something. <clears throat> I think he may have passed with he passed with four energy up. He left all his energy up and passed. I swing up my leader. I pop anticipated onslaught. Um, I think I'm just doing that so I can play out another one. So he combos out of my 20k attack with two Raiders War Cries there. See, at that point, so I tried to play the cooler counterplay, which would have killed both of the Raiders War, Cl War Cry at the same time when they entered. Well, I think actually he said they would enter at different times, uh, but I don't think that's right. I think at the end of battle, they would both come in at the same time. But unfortunately, that cooler card is only reduced energy on my opponent's turn. So I tried to use it on my turn just now. And he, uh, this is round two, and you know he told me no, it only works on opponents. Later in the in the tournament, I actually caught somebody. I played a mirror match against another King Cold, and he tried the same thing. And you know, I was like, hey, dude, that only works on opponents' turn. So, I guess probably a lot of people were making that mistake. So I'm gonna swing with my unison. Uh, looks like I played out another anticipated onslaught. I got the four drop Frieza out, but since he had a poutine on board, it rested it automatically, which I totally forgot about. I made a lot of mistakes in this game. I do lose this game. Um, not having the charismatics early game to, to control his board. And I play out a lot of things for getting poutine is on the field. And they end up coming in rested. So, like, that Frieza is a dual attack barrier. Usually I'll play him out, I'll swing once, and then I'll keep him active so I can use him as a blocker. He's a, did I say dual, he's a dual attack blocker. All right, so he just killed that. Let's go into his turn. He, uh, he overwhelmed a secret identity mass Saiyan, which lets him KO uh, anything that adds up to six energy, so he just cleared a lot of my board. Like, I just couldn't get anything going against this guy, and I couldn't do damage. Like, I needed to swing at his leader every turn, but all he had to do was take a damage and then stop all the future damage. I still should have been swinging at the leader to make him use those. I should have been relying on my counterplays to control his board, but I didn't have them early, so he had time to build up a strong board presence. All right. I believe he's passing. Yep, he passed. I think I'm at three life now. I'm going to play out a uh, a cooler. I think I played a field card and I played that cooler off of it. That cool cooler has critical. But since it was played by a skill, it came out in rest mode. Again, I forgot about poutine. Uh, then I played out my five drop Frieza. For three energy. And it also came in rest mode. So wait, maybe he... I can't remember which one he rested with Poutine. He might have rested the five drop with Poutine. It's okay. I still got to kill one of his cards, ignoring barrier. Uh, he just counterplayed, counterattacked with the Mecha Frieza negate, which is a really good negate. It's kind of like a topo. But against King Cold, it's kind of pointless because every time I swing, I have to tap a card. And all I have to do is tap my field cards. So, kind of lets King Cold get around that card. 
I should have had a better matchup against this deck, but I just wasn't prepared for it, and I didn't have a good starting hand for this. So, see, I, again, I'm not able to get any damage through to him. Um, I just don't have enough attackers. So now I'm I'm continuing to attack. I put pressure on his leader. I took one life. That's all I could do. And I, every attack, I just tapped a field card, which, you know, doesn't hurt me at all. All right, we're getting late in the game. This is probably the longest game I played all day. This one went the longest. Um, I think we got all the other games I just rushed. Like, I I, I, had, I had my deck down, and I just played real quick and did what I did, and either it worked or it didn't. Ended up 4-4. Four and four. Our record was 4-4 four and four at the end. This is round two because round one my opponent did not show up. So I didn't make a video out of that because nothing happened. All right, I just KO'd one of his battle cards, so I played a surprise attack Frieza. He's uh, overwhelming for another secret identity mass saying he's clearing my board again. He's sitting at uh, one, two, three, six energy. So this is turn six. Really late game. Um, I don't think we got to turn six in any of my other games. Usually it's over by turn four or five. I'm down to two life. He's down to two life as well. But he's got more control. He's got a huge board presence. He's got a bigger hand than me, I think, at this point. Um, okay, I think, I think he might be going for game. He just played out this Frieza... Uh, what's it called? It's a it's a golden Frieza. It's a yellow golden Frieza from a recent set, and it's got all kinds of crazy skills. It it's a double striker. I think he's going for game right here. He's double striking. He comboed pretty high. I super combo five k five k five k. I survived that. I have two life left. Oh, no, he swung again. He just Supreme kai Yeah, he just Supreme kai And uh, he swung with a really high swing that I couldn't combo out of. And I, I scooped. Well, we lost there, ladies and gentlemen. Not a good look. Lost to the Jiren. Lost to the Jiren. So we out. Like, comment, subscribe. All the fun stuff. I'll make another video of the next round. Peace.